Friends, a blessed day to you all. Welcome to our daily reflection. From the Archdiocese of Port of Spain in the Caribbean, we invite you to join us now as we bring this transformative power of God's Word into our own reality at this time. Come, Spirit of Truth. Come, Holy Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew 18, 21 to 35. Peter went up to Jesus and said, Lord, how often must I forgive my brother if he wrongs me? As often as seven times? Jesus answered, Not seven, I tell you, but seventy-seven times. And so the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who decided to settle his accounts with his servants. When the reckoning began, they brought him a man who owed ten thousand talents, but he had no means of paying, so his master gave orders that he should be sold together with his wife and children and all his possessions to meet the debt. At this, the servant threw himself down at his master's feet. Give me time, he said, and I will pay the whole sum. And the servant's master felt so sorry for him that he let him go and cancelled the debt. Now as this servant went out, he happened to meet a fellow servant who owed him 100 denarii, and he seized him by the throat and began to throttle him. Pay what you owe me, he said. His fellow servant fell at his feet and implored him, saying, Give me time and I will pay you. But the other would not agree. On the contrary, he had him thrown into prison till he should pay the debt. His fellow servants were deeply distressed when they saw what had happened, and they went to their master and reported the whole affair to him. Then the master sent for him. You wicked servant, he said, I cancel all that debt of yours when you appeal to me. Were you not bound then to have pity on your fellow servant just as I had pity on you? And in his anger the master handed him over to the torturers till he should pay all his debt. And that is how my heavenly father will deal with you unless you each forgive your brother from your heart. No limit to forgiveness. Lord, How often must I forgive my brother if he wrongs me? Offering forgiveness is a daily struggle. If we have a desire to become more Christ-like, then forgiveness is of the essence. We must not allow our sinful nature to course in our hearts. Nor should we ask, Lord, how often must I forgive my brother if he wrongs me? When we harbor ill feelings, The sin of unforgiveness penetrates our being. Examination of conscience and confession aid in the progress of forgiveness. When we forgive, we show the person that he too can grow in holiness. We should not try to bring the offender to his knees and throttle him when he seeks our forgiveness or offers an apology. Desiring to be more Christ-like We must freely offer forgiveness, even if the offender is not ready to admit his wrong. Becoming a forgiving person is not something intellectual. It is an openness to God's mercy, letting go of our voracious hold on unforgiveness and being submissive to God's holy will. Pray for a forgiving heart, and do not think that the offender must have some input into your process of forgiveness. We bow our heads. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be, a world without end. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May He come long upon you, remain with you, preserve you from that evil one, and grant you everlasting life. And the people of God say, Amen. Do have a blessed and pleasant day.